Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Allow me. You want a soda pop or something? You know, I think I want something with a little more kick. Hey, no. Damn, girl. Hmm. Iced tea? Yeah. How very musical theater of you. <laughs> Duncan can't remember the alphabet when he drinks, let alone figure out 20% of a pizza bill. No, he didn't play drunk to steal your money. He played drunk to win your money. To no avail, it seems. Oh, and Connor isn't a drug addict. I know, the constant bathroom visits. He wasn't going for a fix. He was going because of the sun tea. It's that diuretic wrestlers down when they need to make weight, or that actors use before they're half naked on the cover of Vanity Fair. <laughs> and then... There's bachelor number three. He's got it all. Motive, access, looks like an evildoer, smells like an evildoer, but surprisingly, not so much. Weevil cleared him. He told me he searched the room but didn't go through it as much as he wanted. When I saw it, it looked like it had been raided by the FBI. If Logan took the money and hid it, he wouldn't have had to tear the room apart looking for it. So, two left. The boy from the wrong side of the tracks, and the boy who lives in the most expensive house in the 09er zip. So, do you want to hear how Sean did it? Oh, he's a crafty little bugger. Sean didn't bring the big mouth Joes because he's cheap. He knew he couldn't leave with the money, so he didn't. What happens to garbage in the 09er zip? He just waited for the recycling to go out the next day and did a little garbage picking. Sean? What? The guy has a chauffeur driving to school every day. Why would he need to steal? Funny story. When I went to Sean's, I couldn't help but wonder, what was his dad doing at home three in the afternoon, dressed in a suit instead of being at work? Mr. Friedrich. Unless he was at work. I have to say, I was a bit miffed. I was this close to being able to say the butler did it. But no, it was the butler's son. That doesn't prove anything. Well, that proves that you're a liar, and the background check I ran on you proves that you've got a bit of a shoplifting problem. You are really bad at it. <laughs> I can totally pay you. I have the money. I can get it right now. All right. Why don't we take a walk so we can discuss a few things, huh? But you see, I can pay you. See, now, there's really no need for physical violence. Uh-huh. Mind if I deal first? 